Welcome back, though, everyone, to Blood Lords the Dead Ascend, Session 4, I believe, in our uh, last session. Se se session 3, because we still got to murder him by Session 3, remember? Mm, that's not how that works. Session Session 3, Part 2. Yeah, but we started at Session 0. Yeah, the, the first one was Session 0, we just decided to play during that first session. Was session 1. It's Session 1. It's Session 0.5 at best. So yeah, I guess that makes this 3.5. Yeah, you still have time to kill up him. To four. Oh. Since when did we start playing Kingdom Hearts? I didn't say you guys had to kill him that session. You have to kill him that day. And it's already what? the next day from when you spoke to Mort, so... No, no, no. We're talking about the fact that you always get your players killed by session three. Oh, yes. Well, unfortunately, we've passed that deadline, but I also That's killed someone on, like, session 15 this weekend, so... Well, I mean, he will be missed. <laughs> he will be missed. <laughs> no, he won't. Was it you? <laughs> what do you mean he won't be missed? I said what I said. I'm gonna Don't separate from the party. That. There's consequences. I, you would have thought you would have learned that. It they almost again. should have typed the same way. It wasn't me this time. I promise it wasn't me. <laughs> No, your it was... was actually with the group this time. I was with the party. <laughs> I'm learned... a healer. I don't leave the party. <laughs> Which uh, is very funny. I'll say this to the two of you, Destiny's player in that campaign. What's their whole shtick? Would you like to share? I'm a 900 and something year old elf. Um, who uh, has built, has, has been a part of several kingdoms in the past. And all of those kingdoms have fallen to ruin, um, either through my own actions, inaction, or some external being. We don't know yet. Um, I know. You know, I don't. <laughs> don't tell me either. I'm not going to. Uh, what else? I started this campaign with a human companion who was another player character named Okot. And my whole motivation with Okot was Okot was finally going to watch me die instead of me watching my companions die, and he died session three. So, um, we've now killed another character before that is, this is not my fault. to witness you die. Not my fault, no, I'll catch but that is what I said. Either. So we now have a kill list. Where I'll say, why aren't, why aren't you... Before Destiny's character has to die, so she can watch them all die again. I was going to say, why aren't you just, like, the, the epitome of the meme healer. It's like, fuck all y'all bitches. Y'all are gonna go die anyway. I am the lord of healing. Come to me for help. <laughs> if another... If if more of them die, I'm going to devolve into that. It's like, why have you not turned into the... the stop the, the standing in the fire! <laughs> no, 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 no. The one, the one that's good, that's past that point. It's like, fuck you. That, stop asking for healing. Stop standing in the fire and maybe you won't need healing. <laughs> that's that's what I do in MMOs. I'm not doing that in, in Pathfinder 2. <laughs> I embrace the meme. Uh, but anyway, back to this campaign. Unfortunately, my curse of killing someone in session three does not appear like it'll continue. Sad. We're all unfortunately upset about that, I know. But after returning from Old Urgog's farm and reporting to Berlin Haldoli, she was very thankful for what you all had found, but generally a, a bit frustrated by the lack of conclusion to the situation uh, and hopes that while she's going to look into it as well, you all will continue to pursue leads once you have finished clearing out and settling into your new home. And that is where we find ourselves now, the currently known as Kalak Manor, about a mile south of Grey Dirge, a massive building of red stone, bone, and a massive red piece of glass atop the central dome, running like blood down the sides of the building. Upon entering the building, you came across a dusty and cobweb-filled space with a uh, apparent hand named Argon the Annihilator as steward to the place, fighting off a bunch of rats. The rats are now dead. You also met who appears to be the previous tenant, Kalak himself, who was simply just up in the study, drawing, painting, writing, you're not entirely sure, but just kind of hanging from the ceiling, 
by the desk and uh, writing something down on paper. You did some initial looking around, checking what most of the rooms are, before spreading out and splitting up. Uh, when Philip was then ambushed by a small green-skinned creature out in the small graveyard outside, uh, what ensued was a bit of a panic as both Philip and Draig found themselves on death's door, but thankfully the creature was defeated, burnt to turn off their regeneration, and is now fully destroyed as it is the four of you standing around. So, what would you all like to do? I'm taking a nap. <sighs> <sighs> Don't go in the graveyard, guys. Hey. There's shit there. <sighs> Don't go outside, it's more like it. Uh, right, go ahead and heal four hit points, please, as Azrael stares at you and your bones begin to knit themselves back together. Uh, there's a pile of army on my mouth, but give me a second. Oh my uh, click. This Telamon was 90% of the weight of this package. <laughs> uh, do I have battle medicine? No. Uh, Phil, would you like to be stitched up? Yeah, I'll take I'll take some uh I'll take some uh treat wounds if you got it. Like some old ten minutes. Alright. <clears throat> yeah. Uh oh. Hmm. Alrighty. That's Killing funny. Philip. Not get rid of your wounded condition, then. Bitch! <laughs> but hey, take that free hero point. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. You already had three. I guess I'll spend one, then. Okay. Uh, still oh. Oh. So oh. heal yourself of that six damage, Philip, as you would not take it. Um, but you are still injured. Damn, they I... really got you good. <sighs> I'll be fine, don't worry. Thanks. Uh, Drag, did you heal yourself to full, or were you... Oh, you were only down four. I forgot your level one. Four hit points is a lot to you all. <laughs> yeah, it did 13 of my... Uh, it did 14 damage to my 13 hit points. Mm, sucks to be you, doesn't it? But... Haha, <laughs> Marshall, I have 16 hit points. No! God damn it. I need green stuff. The axe broke off of this, uh... Alaris. Oh. No. Uh, shall we go back inside? Or shall yes. we go examine the premises to, together outside? I guess that means I can make it a spear now. Well, lap around the building. Look for uh, more things like that. Sure. Go ahead and give me a perception check. Then. I'm going to join on this. Okay. Just, I'm following the back. <laughs> building uh, blind your rib cage. Uh, yes, perception checks should pretty much always be blind. Okay. Spending a few short minutes uh, walking around the exterior of the building, you do not find any other signs of uh, creatures living in there. It all appears empty and peaceful. Do we find signs of that one having lived in the area? Uh, <coughs> from what you're able to gather, they seem to have probably lived underneath one of the headstones. I mean, in this area, one, the pond itself appears artificial, definitely not natural. Uh, mm. But in general, there is the stench and buzz of insects. Uh, lots of algae fills the pond, weeds and tall grass cover the hillside um one of the tombstones is just broken and toppled over there's a small mound of dirt uh near each of the tombstones but they're 
Each of those dirt mounds is too small for a corpse. Hmm. Each of the remaining uh, mounds of dirt are too small for a corpse? Uh, yeah, there's so there's a small mound of dirt off to the side of each of the four tombstones. Not in any seemingly like patterned matter. Like they're not exactly two paces from each tombstone. They're just, you know, buried generally a little bit to the right of each headstone. That is a mound of dirt that's I'd say maybe about a foot wide. I go load my rifle, and I'm going to just poke at these mounds of dirt Okay. with the uh, barrel of my rifle. Which one are you poking first? Which tombstone? Go ahead and ping it for me. Which one did the troll come out of? Top left. Top left? Mm -hmm. Bottom right. Bottom right. Okay. You poke the dirt. Wait. bottom left wait again nothing happens can you guess which one I'm picking next bottom right correct top right please roll me a reflex save haha <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Nothing happens. Haha. <laughs> uh, clearing these piles of dirt away, mm -hmm. is there anything underneath them? Or is it just graves and decaying? Uh, under... One of them is empty. The top right is empty. So is the bottom left. Uh, but the top left and bottom right ones... Each have uh, what appear to be a limb uh, that is like half covered in fully rotten flesh still, um, mm. with the part of the limb that doesn't have flesh having bite marks along the bone. How are the fingers looking? A few of them have a nod clean of flesh uh, the bones are still for those fingers at least just like left in the dirt underneath the hand with bite marks on them as well All right. um just typical zombie stuff or you can give me a recall knowledge if you'd like yeah as far as you can tell uh, probably typical just at least a more intelligent zombie, since it seemed to be storing food. All right. Would be your best guess. Looks like something might come back here, but uh, nothing else in the graveyard. No, I guess I'll limp my way back inside. Sure. <clears throat> and kind of struts towards you on his fingers as you come back inside. Everything all right out there? I heard, uh, shots fired, you could say. Everything's fine now. Sure about that? You don't look too good. The garden is lovely. And I'll, I'll limp to the restroom and freshen myself up. Are you gonna keep <laughs> bleeding on my floors? Your Working floors? on it. Working on it. I'm in the bathroom now. <laughs> and then I'll clear myself of blood, I guess, and freshen sure. myself up. It's not difficult to do. Stanch up the wounds that, like, Azrael tied bandages on, but did so very loosely. Just tighten them so blood doesn't drip everywhere. What about the rest of you? Uh, 
Is that, I think it's the ground floor cleared of all baddies. Uh, let's look around and see what we can find now. Sure. Uh, you can either give me a general perception check for the whole floor, or you can go room by room and make specific perception checks, your choice. Uh, I don't think we're in a time pressure or anything, so I'll go room by room. Sure. Uh, 30 minutes want? till the mansion ignites. <laughs> don't. And every hour I can try to heal secrets. Philip again. Okay. Sure. I think we'll go counterclockwise. Alright. So as I was doing that, try what about you? Hmm, I what I was. <laughs> I don't think any of us will ever know. Uh, here in the foyer, you do not find anything of particular note. Aside from dust and general grossness. It seems... Decently well kept, but nothing appears out of the ordinary to catch your interest or be hidden in any sort of way. But I... We've lost her. Crack. Oh no. Drag with us. All right then. Well, that's a shame. Uh, I guess Azrael and Philip, you may continue your exploration then. Don't want to hold up the game. Um. I'll check the bathroom, I guess, while I'm here. Sure. Uh, it is a pretty simple wash closet. Um, we'll definitely need some very thorough cleaning. You probably should have cleaned it a bit before you started using it, but... <laughs> well... You don't think there's any diseases that you'll get with. I'm pretty... You know what? The Philips immune systems, it can handle this. Sure. It's Philip eating poison again. Welcome, Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, Apologies. No worries. The group has started uh, searching each room sort of one by one. Uh, since you, you think at least the ground floor has been cleared of enemies, would you like to join them? Is there anything else yes. you'd like to do? No, I'll just join an assist for now. Sure. Then feel free to move, go into whichever rooms you would like, and make perception checks for those rooms. I don't know if you guys wish to yeah. put a ball up, or each check individual rooms. I'm just going to investigate... Uh, the study up with Mr. Kalak? No, no. Big oh, here. Okay, the master bedroom then. Sure. Go ahead and give me a perception check, please, then. Uh, taking a look around, aside from... You know, the room seemingly not having seen any use in a few years. Uh, the only thing that really catches your attention is opening up the cabinet over here. Uh, where you find a full suit of dusty but well put together plate mail. Mm. I know anything that's worth at least some money. <laughs> Uh, full plate selling it would net you guys probably around 15 gold. 
which for some reason it does not want to move the stash. More than a kidney. Right? <laughs> You'd have to sell at least six kidneys to buy one. But think, I could add a kidney to that price. Mm. Coming up into the uh, study, Philip? Yeah. Sure. Let me take a look around. Give me that perception check. Uh, taking a look around, um, this is one of the few places that has less dust and cobwebs than the rest of the manor. Uh, there are, of course, multiple pretty comfy looking chairs, though the cushions on them are pretty moldy, just like the rest. Uh, kind of facing a pretty large stone fireplace at the north wall of the room. Uh, much of the floor on top of the carpet, though, is covered with, uh, like, old and fresh parchment uh, with a variety of different sketches on them, but many of them appear uh, torn, crumpled, uh, even a few that look partially burned at corners. Um, there's a few, like, broken uh, paintbrushes and pencils here and there, uh, upended ink jars on top of the writing desk. Um, there is, you notice uh, against the eastern wall, the drawer of the desk is kind of broken and in pieces on the ground. Okay. Uh, Kalak is, of course, using his feet to kind of grip the ceiling as he appears to be kind of scowling and sketching on a fresher piece of paper. Um, it's hard to really tell if he's scowling, considering how elongated his jaw is, but you catch a number of, like, festers and boils across his form. Uh, his arms from the fingertips to elbows are almost stained red at this point, but also stained black. Uh, Taking a look around, I will say you notice in the desk where the drawer used to be behind it appears to be a false back to the desk. Uh, you get the sense there might be a secret compartment. I'll call out to the rest of the group. Hey, uh, I think I got something over here. Oh, good job. Because I've learned my fucking lesson. <laughs> and then Are I you? will... I'll, yeah, mm, let me see. You're just walking right under Kalak. I have not learned my fucking lesson. That yeah. checks out. <laughs> right. Guns loaded. By my side. That's fair. And I'll reach into the desk. Okay. Uh, pull <clears throat> the false back off to the side you find what appears to be two vials, uh, one of which has sort of a pale blue liquid and is in more of an ink vial than your classic potion vial. Uh, and the other one is more of a uh, rectangular container almost uh, that the entire top kind of flips open on and when you flip it open, it has like this silvery paste within it. Hmm. Do I know what this... So one of them is ink. One of them or appears is it more... to be a type of ink. Uh, the other one appears to be a type of paste. I'll take both out and look up at, at uh, Kulak. Do you have a... Do you know anything about these things? Hmm. My memory is a bit foggy, but uh, I feel like I remember seeing them some time ago. Maybe using them a long time past. Uh, but sorry, I couldn't say for certain. Gotcha. I will say you can at least confirm that both of them are 
alchemical nature. All right. Uh, uh, Drig, Azrael, do you guys know anything about yeah. this stuff? Mm -hmm. Uh, do we? Uh, I'll show him the vials. You cannot identify alchemical items without alchemist tools. What have you? God damn it. Guys right. chose last session to avoid purchasing an alchemist toolkit in favor of just having more identify items for you. Go, go back to the kidney dealer. <laughs> Get your kidneys ready. Uh, amazing. No, I did not recognize it. Well, we can go see Mort sometime later and uh, figure out what these things are. I'm surprised. Do you want to see Mort again? <laughs> Why wouldn't I want to see Mort again? No reason. All right. Who's, uh, who's Mort? Is he, uh, uh another local owner barista. of the place? Nah, no, just no. a local barista. <laughs> the fuck is a barista? That is an excellent question. Guy who makes drinks. So no? A servant. Yeah, but I gotta pay him money to make me a drink each time. He sort of, like, takes his pinky and thumb and crosses them. He's crossing its arms. If this barista is a type of servant, why are you paying them? Because he's... He's not a servant. He's... What? He, like, sells me things. He's a merchant. Oh, merchant. Use that yeah, word merch. next time. Yeah, yeah. I would say he makes <laughs> drinks, because that's gonna... I don't have a brain, can't you tell? It's a little confusing. My apologies. Accepted. Alright. We good? Sure. Has anyone been upstairs? Not yet. I uh, don't exactly want to wander. There's no upstairs, only a downstairs. Her. Oh, I, 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 I can see the staircase. Has anyone been down the stairs? No. I didn't want to wander. Well, aren't you quickly? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think you could have another go at it. You get the drop on them this time. No. Um, we don't need the five gold that bad. Ah, uh, come on. Five gold, and I never have to order you food again. You, where? When have you ordered me food? We own a house now. And I can cook. With ingredients. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, but I guess I'll start making my way closer to the downstairs. Okay. Perception check. <laughs> sure. Uh, you enter this room, and oh my gods below, would you look at that? There's a staircase. Do I hear anything coming up from the staircase? Or is it just silent? You do not. What is the uh, owner's name? Uh, Kalak. Kalak. If you want the spelling, you can look up at the uh, top of the screen where you can see the map name. I'm just addressing it. Kalak. Yes. 
What's downstairs? Probably smarter to do that than just to let me fucking die in a corner, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I think I've seen rats coming out of there. And... The rats are dead. Scratches the inside of his one of his cheeks. Oh, for uh, God's sake! Where is the hat? I think. I think my dog might still be down there now that you mention it. I call back. You have a dog? I uh, yeah. His name is Smoke. Why is his name Smoke? I don't know. Feels like something you should know. Go back to your books. We were, I was, we were over this what, like five minutes ago. My memory isn't great. Well, go, go back to your books. Where is that hand? <laughs> He's not even have books. He's just like drawing. Argon's right here. Yeah, what do you want? What is in the basement? I don't know. I don't fucking go down there. There's rats. Oh my god. And more than what you killed up here. Let me tell you. There's a okay. many rats okay. in this place. What about this dog Kalok used to have? Uh, I think his name was Smoke. What kind of That's dog is it? Put down, uh, a dog dog. Dog dog. I don't know. Wasn't always around. I don't want to have to go into the basement and fight a fucking wolf. A what? I said wolf, but... Oh, a... no, not a wolf. It's a, uh, a, a nice little puppy, you could say. Only came when its name was called. Things like that. What's its name? Smoke. Smoke. No, yeah. Uh, between well, you and one way or another. Clock was a weird one. He kind of kept the dog on display most of the time. So... I don't even know that we'll find out. Philip! I think you owe us a kidney. I don't think I do! I don't Let's find out if you're right. <laughs> I don't know how hungry you are at the moment, Drag. Uh, but what I will say, all of you notice, the staircase itself... Uh, one, the railing appears made solely out of femurs. Um... Well, but the good. stairs themselves are studded with finger bones. The staircase is dangerous. <laughs> the map even shows it. Look at that. Those are all finger bones on those steps. The staircase is going to actually help us get down in. It's going to hold our hands. It's going to hold your toes. <laughs> it's a free massage as you walk. No, I'm just thinking like it's gonna clasp between each of your toes as you go down it. Yeah. Terrible. Oh. No, the they're like embedded into the stone. They are not just on their own. I can hope so. <laughs> I don't like the image of um, them grasping in between our toes. <laughs> That's why I chose it. Thanks. Little grabby fingers. A little, little, little grabby fingers. I could grasp between your toes if you wanted me to. Nope. Never do that. Not a service I usually partake in, but... Never do not that. doing that. Are you sure? You seem uh, weirdly Why? interested in it. Nope. What about you, Ezreal? I could tenderly uh. grasp between your toes. Maybe another day. Hmm. I'll get them toes. Are you sure you don't have a toe thing? Maybe I do. You're weirdly fixated on the toes. What if I do? What are you going to do about it? Hmm? Honestly, nothing. We're proud of you for living your most your most authentic self. Well, this, this Terminator's arm is off. <laughs> oh, you're talking about him. <laughs> yes. I got very confused for a moment. I was like, what Terminator? 
The one in the corner. Don't you see him? Uh, I do. Do you? No. no. The answer is no. That's why, that's why we're trying to get him to go first. He's mm -hmm. kidding. Oh, you guys want to go down the stairs? Was you it can. spleen? It was a spleen, not my kidney. Yeah, it was a spleen. Did I stutter? <laughs> Look at both. Look at my kidney now. <laughs> Look at both. Blood still expired. Uh, has it been an hour yet? Looking around through other rooms. Uh, if you wanted to wait like twenty more minutes, probably. Uh, did you ever actually like go look in the kitchen and pantry? I know you were kind of at the door and went up when Philip. Uh, yes. Go ahead and give me perception checks for that then. Yes. Okay. Uh, you would have actually found a few things of interest. Oh. Uh, one in the kitchen itself appears to be. You know, aside from everything that is normal, there is a meat cleaver uh, that you can see a lesser potency rune inscribed along the handle for whatever yeah. reason. Clock at fucking money. Who puts a potency rune on a meat cleaver? Someone that has money. Someone who really needs to cut meat. And in the uh, the pantry itself, avoiding, you know, all the animal refuse, um, kind of tucked at the back of one of the shelves behind an old rotten bag of turnips, uh, you find what appears to be a wooden spice box uh, that's pretty ornately carved uh, with what look to be like flame-tongued demons on them. Mm. Uh, the spices in them are all pretty stale, but the box itself might be worth a little something. If you wanted to get rid of it. Oh, we live here, and it's on our shelf now. Yeah. So, up to you if you want to sell it. It's worth four gold. It's his box of spicy meatballs. Worth, it's almost worth a spleen. Almost. kind of <laughs> feel like we should sell it. It's worth the uh, the price of a spleen that's not fresh. He knocks oh. only a gold off if we give him a not fresh spleen. No, his original asking off. price was four, uh, but then he offered six if you guys killed Philip and gave him the spleen right then. Mm -hmm. So the Got price was subject goals. to change. Got a six gold spleen, buddy. I'm premium. The man with the golden spleen. <laughs> yeah. Damn, I should have named the episode that. <laughs> Come on, that's for when we get it out of him. You gotta save that one. <laughs> there you go. When Philip dies, that'll be the episode title. Oh my god. Can we not plan the episode title for my death yet, please? I like to imagine well, you we are. Be, like level 17, and that'll be when Philip dies for the first time. And, you and we're still gonna sell it. Take his spleen and sell it for like three gold at that point. Yes. Of course. Just on principle. Honestly, honestly, I'd be upset if we didn't. <laughs> Say Mort needs those spleens, man. You gotta commit to it. And you know what? If Mort's dead, raise him from the dead. <laughs> Just it'll be like spleen. <laughs> it'll be like thirty times the cost of the fucking spleen. <laughs> but you take all of his money before raising him, so then he has to actually go get four gold to pay you. Well, he's That's got spleens smart. on the wall. He's just gonna turn one. You know. We're gonna become. We're gonna get the end of the campaign. We're gonna become blood lords. And then finally Philip dies and we go to Mort and we sell him the spleen. Genius. Yeah. Spleen of a blood lord. I can't wait till we hit the point of the campaign where we're abusing reincarnate just to get infinite spleens. The farm spleens. <laughs> totally a good use of that spell. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Do you not want us to do that? What are you, some kind of coward? Uh, he just wants the story to stay on track. And, uh... Infinite money. You know money what? Glitch. If we're derailing the story for the infinite spleen duplication glitch, I think I can get behind that. I think I can accept that that's my life. J Look, Jacob is just here to figure out how hard he has to derail this campaign to go from a Blood Lords campaign to like a multi year long, forever running campaign. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh. The level 20 campaign will last multi-years with me anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mainly because we have 
30 minute long discussions on spleen selling. And whose fault is that? Yours. I don't think it's my fault. I take just zero give up responsibility. The spleen. Give up the spleen. spleen. <laughs> you could just give it up. I don't want it. Well, then we're going to keep having this discussion. <laughs> this oh. sounds like your fault. What the fuck? That's my it does. Look, just sell it to him and then steal it back. And just but, put it back in. It'll be just fine. I don't think so. A little bit of healing magic reattaches everything. You're all Isn't good. that illegal? Yeah. Only if you get caught. Are you trying to get me to commit a crime now, Jericho? Yes. Simply Alrighty. so I can arrest you and execute you so they can sell your spleen. <laughs> all, right, all right. It's all planned out. It's all coming together. All according to Kekaku. Can you not make me laugh while I'm taking a sip of water, please? No. no. I don't <laughs> want to choke and die. You know what that means. Don't drink another water spleen. for the next few hours. Got it. That's another spleen. Please also, yes. Spleen. You know, I think if I'm dead, you can't sell my spleen to a character of my creation. I don't think that works that way. It, it's oh, absolutely God. how it works. James the DM now. How much does a god spleen sell for? <laughs> you don't want to know. More than six gold. gold. Right? That'll be at least seven gold. Maybe even eight. So, where to next? Down the stairs, I think. I guess we're going down the stairs, yeah. Sure. Uh, down the stairs. If it's been an hour, can I get another treat wounds? Oh, yes. As you guys spent another, like, 30 minutes debating the pros and cons of taking Philip's spleen and selling it. Including the part about the god spleen? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Orcus himself said, no, you can't sell my spleen. <laughs> Damn. I'm getting that god spleen. Orcus is a cringe god. New campaign finale. Let me put it in my notes. Steal Urgothoa's spleen. <laughs> That'll be the end of this campaign. Pack your bags, guys. We're going to Octurn. I wonder how much a planet's spleen goes for. Go ahead and heal nine hit points, Philip, as uh, Azrael does it correctly this time and doesn't I'm kill you. Full. I'm up to full. Oh, God. Oh, you God. can actually see the finger bones. Yes, you can. All right. Amazing. Hold on. Into the wild green yonder. Yeah. You gotta move around it. Blink. Oh. Yeah. No, I have an actual Ooh, teleport wow. point set. If you guys want to go down the stairs, go down the stairs. Oh. This uh, is on okay. you. Oh, right. Philip is blind. Oh, no. Philip has dark vision. No, I, I have dark vision. God Get damn fun. it. I got full color dark vision. Oh, hot dog. Aren't you spatial? All right. Speaking I of special brain, uh, do you want me brain. to bring Zuka down for you? As yes. Well? Can you drag, drag down the staircase as I'd have to unfuck my mouse pad now because I fucked it for there that picture. Go. Also, speaking of which, you have a picture, Jericho. Why did you fuck your mouse pad? That's a lot of models. Yeah, Don't mind the tidy uh, count. I'm not really interested in what you're into. <laughs> Look. I don't want to. That's the issue. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Your words, not mine. Jericho's into <laughs> one thing and one thing only. Explains. Explains. I was going to say trauma, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the easy one. Come on. Killing characters. Uh, so, coming down the stairs, since you all can see both... Philip being able to see normally, and uh, Azrael having a light glowing in their chest cavity, uh, can see what appear to be a large hallway. A few doors on the side, uh, what appears to be a large stone trough at the far end of the hallway. Uh, who was the first person coming down the stairs? The living one, obviously. Requiem. <laughs> was it you, Requiem? Please give me a perception check, then. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Be 
fantastic. Excellent job, Requiem. Quotation marks. Everything seems I mean, normal, Philip. I don't know where I'm going to put all of this. I'm gonna I should have thought one. about this. Um, no. Everything seems normal. Yes, it does. All right, so. Why would I fucking stealth? I wish to be cast casting. Uh, I see that. No, I wish don't. to be cast. I wish to be casting continuously. I was saying this before he did whatever he did. Mm -hmm. I am uh, I, a shield every time. Okay. I see that. No, you don't. Just every every every, every six every six seconds. Well, one second. One second. <laughs> well. I think we're going to go ahead and have everyone roll initiative here. Uh -huh. <clears throat> there would be some skeleton shambling around down here. Yo, ho, ho and a <clears throat> bottle of rum. There's no active encounter. I'm uh, setting it up. Give me a Why don't moment. you set it up? Set it up faster. No. <clears throat> I'm going to go slower just for you now. Damn. You're, you're going to make me cry. Uh, good. Did I just I roll that 20? Uh, yes it- No. Uh, no. I rolled a it's fucking two. I rolled a fucking two. God damn it. That sucks to be you, Philip. Oh, God! <laughs> Alright, well- I mean, it usually sucks to be Philip. What else is new? As these skeletons are sort of shambling, seemingly almost in a patrolling sense, uh, those of you who are perceptive can see that they don't actually appear like finished skeletons? And they appear full of this strange, like, purplish creature. You see a number of red eyes, multiple centipede-like legs, a few tentacles here and there that seem to be holding the bones together as they shamble around. Uh, what in the absolute fuck are you? No. Something a little something like this, you could say. <laughs> He's just walking to us, pelvis first. Yeah. With well, the jaw. I, 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 I'm sorry. Is With this teeth? <laughs> is is this teeth? Yeah. What is? No. Why are you questioning Stop. it? It dies first. They're all this. So, uh, one of these guys. I got to remind myself how their main ability works. Yeah, all right. I think he's going to uh, just kind of use two actions to shamble on up after you all. And uh, who does he want to stab first? Let's find out. That's a fast skeleton. Zuka. 25 feet movement, baby. Well, I was just thinking initiative. That's a fast oh, skeleton. Yes, he zooms. <laughs> uh, really fast skeleton. As Why does the skeleton have the zoomies? You're Hello. getting stabbed. Actually, That's not right. No, you're... You're very obviously a skeleton, right? Yes. Uh, do 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 do. Mm -hmm. It can, in fact, bite you while within the skeleton. Still, great. It's gonna chomp you. Oh, good. We're starting off strong. Oh God. Ten points of damage. Uh, the piercing effect of the jaws doesn't seem to be very painful uh, but what is more problematic is the acid it seemingly secretes from its mouth no Drag, you're up oh no i've only partially unfucked my mouse pad uh That's right, I was melting guardians out of the way ah, my bones you may delay if you need to continue oh. to unfuck your mouse oh. pad i have enough room to wiggle the mouse and that's all i need the Talamon took up most of the space. Uh, there's a skeleton right there. Th yes, there is. With a friend inside. I don't like friends. Inside. Uh, do I see more? I don't see more. Uh, you know. uh, from where you are? No, you do not. It has cover against me if I land, so it does not. Let me actually get wrecked with the encounter. Oh, that that would have cover, right? Uh, this one, yes, would have lesser cover against you right now, because Azrael's in the way. And that would be clear? 
Uh, yeah, because Zuka's small and on the ground and just kind of coiled up, so I'd say absolutely you'd have a clear shot. Oh, good, Divine Lance. Go for it. Uh, that'll hit. Four points of spirit damage to him? Okay. There's a, a screeching sound. Uh, as it kind of wiggles and the whole the whole bone structure does a little jig. Uh, but your shield should be over at this point. Requiem's yep. turn. Uh, Requiem. Probably going to stride over here and I'd imagine cast Needle Darts or Divine Lance. What do we think? Uh, Ooh, I just realized today's uh, update to Foundry changed the spellcasting tab. Oh, did it? it has additional uh, tabs in there for known spells, rituals, and activations. Oh, that's Ooh. fun. Do that. Uh, Needle darts is potentially more damage, but it is physical, whereas Divine Lance is, of course, spirit damage. Uh, probably spirit damage. Spirit damage, it is. Hey, Requiem hit as well. Five points of damage. All right. Azrael, you're up. Uh, command, Zuka, grab. <laughs> sure. No, she has the grab action. Uh, she, you can use the grapple action with uh, a companion, I think. Let's just, uh, let me go grab the old grab, oh, grab I think it used to be cold grab, maybe not. It is grab right. for monsters, uh, but actual player no. characters use the grapple action. A 19 is not a critical success. That's Ooh. disgusting. This thing is bones. Bones. And I'm going to two action harm myself. Sure. Oh, but targeted it. Target me. <laughs> Arm versus undead. Roll healing. Do not. Do not heal the enemy. Hey, max health. Back. Let's nice. go. Uh, uh, that's Zuka technically point. does have one action left. Because uh, uh, if you commanded it, it would have given two actions. Yeah. What's your support benefit? Uh, makes it to your strike specifically make the target off guard. We'll do that. Okay. Until the start of your next turn, the strikes <laughs> you make Azrael against it that deal damage, make it off guard. Perfect. Great. Fantastic. Anyway, uh, not needing any strikes, <laughs> Philip, you're up. <laughs> All right. Uh, quick draw and then energy bullet to start out. Energy shot to start out combat. Sure. I'm going with fire all right i want that thing to burn rude um is there any disadvantage for shooting within melee range unless you have the volley trait nope okay so i can just shoot this guy right now yeah gun philip cast bullet that is a crit because it is off guard i'm very good at casting bullets points of damage. Yikes. So, that is actually going to be enough that the entire skeleton that this thing is enshrouded in shatters. And it oh, is shit. just its stupid little bug form on the ground. Okay. I'm gonna do a thoughtful reload. Okay. Um, what would you like to know about this thing? High save, low save? Sure. Uh, looking at this thing... It appears pretty fast. It's got many legs, uh, so high save is probably reflex. Uh, at the same time, it's got a lot of eyes. A lot of eyes mean stupid, right? So will save's probably the lowest. That's how that works, right? Ah, I see. 
That'll hit. Uh, and the <laughs> screeching sound, it will be eviscerated. And that'll take us to the other one's turn. But it's, ooh, ooh, it's gonna come running around the corner. Oh god, it has two actions, the fuck? It does! Uh, off guard to it. And it's gonna start by making a bone spike attack against you. It's gonna attempt to just smash into you with the bone spike. I don't like this. From one of its a little, like, uh, broken arms. But it's not gonna hit. You're all good. Uh, it's gonna try again, I think. Man, that's a shame. All right, Drag, you're up. I don't like this predicament. Oof. Bastard. Uh. Hey, Philip! Duck! <laughs> it is going to have lesser cover against your attack. I use the duck reaction. That does not exist. It should. Wow! wow! <laughs> Philip die. Free hero <laughs> point. Philip is dead now. No. Fresh spleen. Unless you want to re-roll that. What a shame. It's literally split between a 1 and a 19! What the fuck?! <laughs> it's a clear one on my screen. At least you get it back. Uh, yeah, you get the hero point back, but you miss out on gaining one overall. Uh, Requiem's turn. I mean, she'll just, like, stride over here. You know what? She'll stride here, actually, so she doesn't have to have it have cover at all. And will uh, probably do the same thing herself. I got. <laughs> well. Oh, she'll... Let's can't keep doing it. She'll do the rolls. exact same thing. Hey, she got two ones on that die roll. One extra one. <laughs> All right. Uh, unfortunately, the commotion you guys have made has seemingly drawn some uh, potentially unwanted attention from a nearby room. Gotta get a silencer. Guess what? It's rats. Yeah. Alright, so one action gets him to there. Rat, 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 rat. We'll use second action to run here and we'll uh, bite Requiem. Just nibble at her. That is a god's damn shame. <laughs> Guess what? There's more rats. Hot dog. <laughs> god damn it. Uh, one action to get there. I mean, it's gonna have to attempt to tumble through you, Philip. <laughs> I love that. I love that for the rat. It Look, succeeds. You want a I'm thoughtful so reload on these uh, rats, right? It so runs proud through of the rat. your legs, Philip, what and is gonna fuck? bite them as it goes past. I'm so proud of this rat. You have no Are idea. Are you sure? Oh. I am no longer proud of this rat. <laughs> I'm proud of the rat. Eight damage Holy you fucking shit, it did have my health. <laughs> and, uh, what the fuck? I am decidedly not proud of the rat. <laughs> Azrael, <laughs> it is your turn. Hitman Nazuka. Attack. Okay. Linking. Flanking the rat, that'll hit because you're flanking. For four points of damage to the rat? How Go. Did you do such a thing? Divine Lance. You did half the rat's health. Time for the other half. Uh, Does Pathfinder have rules against multiple level spells on the same turn? Nope. No. As long as you have the actions to cast them, you can do it. Another four damage to the rat? That's a dead rat. Fuck that rat. Eight health. I should have given them more. <laughs> oh, oh, pity. Pity the rats have eight health. Guess what? There's another rat. <laughs> I have so many of these. I'm really proud of these rats. You're spawning more rats off screen. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Don't call me You'll out. never know. 
You'll never know. It's gonna we'll never know. to uh, tumble through Requiem space. Uh, tumble through. Please tell me it does. It actually like does. It fails. <laughs> it has to use its third action to try again. It fails again. It can't get past the other rat. The scream. All right, Philip, you're up. Why do you sound like a wrestling announcer? I have rats. Why wouldn't I be excited? Uh, I'm gonna take a stride. <laughs> you a Skaven fan? I'm not gonna stride. I need to know. Me or Jericho? Oh, Jericho. Weird question. Let's talk about rats. I will not. She's talking that question. about rats. Look, man, if rats are the enemy you have in a dungeon, wouldn't you have to find some excitement? Fair enough. Let me Fair be enough. excited with my rats. Uh, first action conjure bullet. <laughs> just thought I had a fellow Skaven fan. I was happy for a minute. I will neither confirm nor deny my feelings towards Skaven. Uh, first action, conjure bullet. Okay. Second action, Glock. It's a very long Glock you have. The long Glock of the law is going to miss. Never mind, it's going to Or break. is it? <laughs> well, that's another skeleton shattered. Rude. Fine, I rolled bad. It's okay. Uh, he is no longer in a skeleton, but that does mean it triggers his reaction. Uh, oh. He can scuttle away when his bone chariot is destroyed. Oh, See you, loser. Bone chariot. <laughs> thank fuck. My, my third action is his fucking stride. It's fine. <laughs> Let me move. No. Yeah. Uh, these creatures, their skeletons that they're in are called bone chariots. I'm going over here. Uh, I love that for them. The other, they have a reaction when that bone chariot is destroyed. They can either step or stride, and the other one couldn't because you had grappled it. I love which that. Which was mildly upsetting. <laughs> All right. I just love that they're called bone chariots. Well, he's coming back in from downtown, uh, and he'll make a, another jaws attack or another mandible strike against you, Azrael. I think. Oh, good. Uh, a modest six points of damage to you, mixed between piercing and bones. Uh, and last action will be... Man, it can't make its bone spike attack anymore. How sad. Uh, another mandible attack against you. Why not? Ooh. Up. Uh, five more damage to you. All right, drag. There's rats. And there's a, a thing. This is a lot of enemies. I think it's time for this. <laughs> you didn't cast I that didn't... at the start of the day? No, I didn't realize what its just, uh, duration was. Ooh. I would have done it earlier. Yeah, that is Major. a spell you, we pretty much just assume you cast at the top of the day. Uh, so we can assume you would have known what that spell is and what it does. And would have cast it before you guys even came to the manor. If you God give bless. The effect and then take a I would. Turn. I. I got you. Well, this changes my turn slightly. <laughs> yeah. Whenever oh. someone has mystic armor, we pretty much just assume you've cast it at the beginning of the day, because you would. Well. Look at that, that case. AC of sixteen. Durgan claws. Durgan claws. Hot dog! Oh, there's your claws. Oh. Run up. Are you slashing at my thing? I might be slashing at your thing. That's so rude. Why would you do such a thing? Hands occup- Oh, because it's still got this out. Hands occupied my ass. <laughs> Oh, that's a hit. A crit. Not a crit. Crit if it was off guard. Four points of damage, though, to it. Very nice. Uh, which you actually see, now that it doesn't have bones to protect it, it seems quite weak to being slashed. 
Excellent. Flesh sort of rends very easily. Well. All right, Requiem is gonna. I mean, she could just do a three action harm right here. Will heal Am I Philip? Oh no, it won't heal Philip. Are you outside of thirty feet? Don't think I am. You're not. What a shame. Never mind then. Uh, divine lance it is, I suppose. Do you guys want Mister Man or a rat? Rat. Rat. Uh, she will actually needle darts the rat. I think since it has higher potential damage. Well, never mind. As she will take a step back. It's the rat's turn. It's rat. coming right after rat. her. We are the rats. And you know what? It's actually going to make an attack against Drag here. Just because I haven't yet. What is that? A solid six damage to you? What a shame. Uh, and its last attack will be against you as well, Drag. I'm on the ground. Are you? Yes, I only had four health. Oh, you should have been at max. So you're at seven now. Okay. Is your screen showing you on the ground? My screen showing me a skull. Oh, that's because you're standing on top of a dead token. I didn't do that until yeah. I took damage. That's oh, weird. That is weird. Uh, anyway, this time you're going to go ahead and take... Uh, two damage. Hot dog. That's a rat, actually. We still haven't found the dog yet. Shut up. <laughs> I'm just making sure you're aware. I'm not. I, I'm i not aware of a lot of things. Uh, what I am aware of, though, is it's Azrael's turn. No, you moved back and lost my flank. That's okay. Uh, you have to draw up 10 feet to, uh, fall prone, right? You fall prone as long as you take fall damage. Uh, and you take fall damage as long as you fall more than 5 feet. More than 5 feet, okay. So, if I go... Because to take the climb action with your climb speed of 20. Are you gonna go drop on that thing? Yes. Drop behind it. Um, okay. uh, me. <laughs> um, uh, me. What's really dumb about the climb action is technically you still have to make an athletics check even with the speed. Uh, I'm not going to do that though because that's dumb. That's silly. Yeah. Uh, that'll hit. Zuka kill. That's a very dead thing on the jigger. Little lance. Seem to take extra piercing damage as well. I get a hero point. You do, Let's in go. fact, get a hero point. Good on you. <laughs> it's the other rat's turn. <laughs> it has a target to bite. <laughs> without needing to move. Three bites. Oh, no. Triple bite. You should be scared. <laughs> oh, God. Four damage crit. Let's go. Let's have the my minimum help. roll. <laughs> Uh, misses. Forticalness. And... Uh, three damage. Wow, what did you roll on that one? I'm not telling you. I got 19. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, whoever <laughs> hit the soundboard <laughs> for me. <laughs> You're welcome. Zuka's not even down. We can't soundboard yet. What are you doing? <laughs> we always soundboard. We soundboard when they die. We soundboard yeah, when Zuka takes damage. She took a crit. Uh, you know what? That is fair. Crit can uh, soundboard. Um, <laughs> well, originally, we said we were going to soundboard whenever Zuka took damage. No, we said whenever a skeleton went down, we were going to soundboard. Hey, why can't I, I've killed two skeletons. Why haven't I heard a soundboard yet? Because I have a lot on my screen right now. Hitting my soundboard <laughs> is low on the priority list. Should be high on it. 
Thank you, whoever made the zombie sound. I appreciate Whose it. Whose turn is it? <laughs> uh, Philip's turn. Uh, dog. I'll move here. Thoughtful reload. Not thoughtful reload. Conjure bullet. Are you sure? Yeah, Would you like to conjure... know what these are? Dead. Very dead. Why would you do such a thing? That's like how Foundry fair. added the description for if they take over double their health now. A giant rat takes 19 damage. The massive damage immediately kills them. <laughs> Thank you, Foundry. I wouldn't have guessed. I never would I've have shot, known. I have shot the rat in the head with my bullet. Drag your up. There's one rat remaining. Rushing rat. What will you do about it? Rushing Drag from the, rat. The, from, from the top ropes. From the top ropes. From downtown. Uh, Flints with extra steps. You're targeting the wrong rat. That's why it missed. This is correct. This is the rat. Would that have been? Uh, no. I didn't think so. Flint's with extra steps times two. No, not in my house. Not today. Wow. Uh, Requiem's turn. If the dice would roll above a fucking three. I don't know. She's going to come over here, I guess. See down the hallway. Amazing. Uh, and then she'll, I guess, needle darts the rat. Oh, hot damn. Set the rat's alive! <laughs> On one health. This rat cannot die. Azrael, please don't kill my rat. Soka! I have one rat left with one hit point. Please don't kill him. Kill the rat. It's hmm. a precious rat. Kill the rat. You could name him Steve. Kill the rat. Why are you doing this? Kill the rat. Do you have no soul? Kill the rat. No! I'm undead. What do you mean? Fair enough. You got me there. Uh, well, that's fair, I, I guess, then. Much. Dead rat. Zuka, Zuka tried her best to exactly take that one hit point. Congratulations. The rats are dead. I'm so proud of you Whoa. all. You're right. Fix me, almighty fixer. Uh, why do I keep going first into places? Yeah. If you guys would like, Requiem can also undeath some blessing on Philip and then cast a three action harm. That sounds wonderful. Philip would like that. Up. Okay. Uh, so you'll. I'm not going to put the effect on you because she'll also just refocus then while Azrael's healing people. Uh, and she'll go ahead and just cast a action harm. A little healing. Two health back to everyone. Philip, you get an additional two on top of that so you can just heal it twice. Hell yeah. Uh, and she only has one spell slot left after this. I'm not going to use it for her. Right. There are many dead rats. Oh, okay. I don't like rats. That's fair. Yeah, me neither. These are way worse. That's like my crazy. God damn it. How many actions did you choose on that? Two? That was on me. Yeah, that was a two action self target. I probably should have done another three action, but it's fine. Yeah, because uh, the Undead's Blessing lasts for a whole minute. Oh, does it? Mm -hmm. It's not just uh, theirs? Nope, it's not just her next heal action, it's a full minute effect. Back for you. What is in that room? Uh, this room? Yes. Uh, you guys can move yourselves to look, and Requiem will describe. Uh, it appears to be 
I mean, there's no real way about it, a torture chamber. Uh, stone uh. tables with leather straps, chairs, other strange restraints, uh, many racks of rusted blades. Uh, I mean, the north wall has a massive oil painting on it of like this fiercely grinning general uh, with one hand tucked into his jacket, the other clutching an outrageously large halberd. Uh, refuse kind of lies in the southwestern corner. Lots of rat droppings everywhere. I mean, you say torture chamber. It sounds like kitchen prep, honestly. You have a kitchen upstairs. I'm opening this door. Yeah, but the screaming Are goes on sure? downstairs. Oh, you opened it, okay. Oh, oh. hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you open that door. <laughs> Get back up there and like it. <laughs> uh, I mean, the opposite wall of the door is quite literally made of skulls. I close the door. The other walls, tightly woven ribs. Uh, floor was bare stone, and you could see an iron rung bolted to the floor in the center of the chamber. I, I, I turn around to Azrael. What's the point of this room? Decoration? Like I, who has an entire room just of decoration? Can I make an inside check? Like me, player, I know what this is. You can make our call knowledge check, yeah. I'm also going to do recall knowledge. Also, Me, if you think it's obvious enough, based off of description, you can say what you think it is. I mean, it's a prison cell. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I should have guessed that. Someone just had a surplus of bones. Oh no, it's the iron, the iron rung. It's for, like, the chains. It's, it's a prison cell. Yeah. Jericho, I'm going to send you a thing. That's terrifying. Don't say that. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Watching my <laughs> messages in abject horror just waiting. Ah, <laughs> uh, beautiful. I've actually uh, visited there. Same. The I went there. I went there just recently. Nice. I went there. Goodness, was it? Five years ago, I, I'll drop it in. I'll drop it in general if everyone wants to see it. Lots of bones. Uh, basically, this friary in Rome. Um, their monks were, their friars were fucking insane, and decorated the entire crypt in the bones of the dead. They made Neat. many flowers out of um, vertebrae. Anyway, I opened this door. Guess what? There's more. <laughs> I opened the next door. Okay. <laughs> I wonder what's behind door number four. You'll never guess. I'm taking bets. A quick! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Why did you pause the game? I don't know. Why did I pause the game? Would you like to take a guess? There's nothing in there. It's not a quick. There's I'll no one in the much. room, Philip, but at this point, you can hear from... In this area, uh, a sound that's sort of like the droning of insects and clacking bones to the southwest. It's completely safe, Drag. You should go first. What a stare into this soulless man's eyes because he can't convince me he has one uh-huh that's why you run away yes <laughs> and yet the eyes are quaking i'm very glad i rolled as shitty as i wanted to requiem <laughs> would you be a dear <laughs> no you cannot send party members who are taking smoke breaks into the ethereal plane as test dummies in a fight. No, no, hold on. I wasn't finished. Can you make Philip go first? <laughs> I walk back. I walk back over. I feel over. like she'd think that's beneath her. I'm going to walk back over here and pick up a few rat corpses. Okay. They're big and I don't juicy. Have, I don't have flaws. I'm not taking that corner. Do you want to just take a big old bite out of them? No, I'm chucking them here. I'm throwing them as hard as I can. 
Ah. Uh, interesting. Okay. A bunch of... After a minute or so of the corpses splatting against the ground, uh, a number of tiny versions of the skeleton pilots come swarming out like ants, hoist up the rat corpses and start dragging them back to the southwest, out of sight. Unexpected. All right, well, at least we know what's down there now. <laughs> okay. Drag trying to be as sneaky as possible. And also running headfirst into the wall. Like, what? What are in the corner? I'm aware. You take that turn, that corner way too tight, though. <laughs> There's a, a loud clattering sound. This was a bad plan. What do you mean? I cannot see. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Uh, Drag, I'm going to open the door next to us. There's a door. I open the door. Okay. Uh, you find yourself looking into what appears to be, I don't know, a crypt? Uh, four large coffins, no lids on them, lie against the eastern wall of the room. Uh, each of them appear open and empty. Crypt. Four, uh, four boxes, all empty. Uh, Azrael, coming down here with more light, you can see this oh, large no. hit, like trough also has this sort of black roiling smoke over top of it. Hmm. You can see large piles, like a massive pile of bones against the wall. I would like to sense for undead. Now, will you walk in front of me? Uh, how are you sensing for undead? Uh, oh, was that you, Philip? I'm in. I'm next to you. I don't know. I asked you now. Will you walk in front of me? Uh, with the yes. ethereal planes detect magic cantrip that I didn't you prepare because they had it. <laughs> didn't prepare it. No, because they had it, and but they don't exist ah, right now. What a shame. You can give me just a general perception check if you'd like. Did I see someone open this door over here? Uh -oh. You did. I was going to wait for you. I appreciate but I opened the that. door. Okay. Uh, give me one moment as Azrael is making a perception check. No. Okay. Before you open that door, uh, Azrael, you have a moment to react. I'm actually going to put you oh, no. still slightly up here as you're just beginning to sort of walk away from that door. Uh, as out of the roiling smoke, a globule of something comes shooting at Zuka. Uh, can Zuka give me a reflex save, please? I'm going to give you a plus two circumstance bonus based off of your perception check. Ooh. Very nice. Let's go. Oh. oh. All right. Uh, okay, that is a regular success, so go ahead and take half damage here. Certain. Uh, so three points of fire damage as what looks to be almost boiling oil lands on Zuka and begins burning away at the bones that make it up. Uh, I am going to ask everyone to roll initiative here. Can I use my perception check? Uh, you... Sure. Woo. Alright. Uh, 
Azrael, you're up first. Uh, so I can't... Is it obscured by the smoke, or is it, like, dove down in the trough? Well, the smoke appears at this point to be roiling outwards, to the point that Zuka's actually within it. Um, but it's sort of emanating from the trough about ten feet in every direction. Uh, there's not anything necessarily concealed, but you also, from where you are, can't really see what's in the trough. Um, since the walls are about four feet tall on it. Ah. It's like, I don't see anything, but, like, something came out. Yeah. So, what you can actually see, like, on the map in there, uh, which... Yeah. It's weird that it's hiding that here. One moment. You can see the organs. Okay, you do? Perfect. Yeah, we see the organs. It's very light on my screen, so it looks like it's something that's hidden. Um, but, no, it's like that for a future macro. Uh, technically, you cannot see what's in them from where you are at the moment. You would have to probably approach uh, at least within the sort of smoky area. Um, and what you can smell from where you are, the smoke is something that smells abysmal. Even with your olfactory senses relatively off, you can still smell what appear what f smells like a mixture of burned and spoiled food. Gross. Bless and shield block. All right. Then give yourself that aura and that shield. And are you calling out to Philip in any way? Sorry, this is uh, under real. attack. Sorry, I was casting that. I was just putting it back on oh, because the government. I just, just yell smoke monster. Yeah, I didn't stop. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, then Philip, you're up. Uh, so I heard something about a smoke monster. And at this point, you can see the smoke beginning to sort of roil out of this trough. Sweet. Smoke monster? Is it the dog? I don't know. Uh, we'll go for fire. Okay. Mm. Because I don't know what type of damage that thing does. You do not. <laughs> and Philip likes fire. Right type. down here, do I see it? You have to get slightly closer, probably, to get a good look within much. the trough. The trough has tall walls, and because of the little bit of smoke... Okay, getting within the area of it. I do need you to give me a fortitude save, please. Uh, and Azrael, I should have actually asked for this for uh, Zuka starting its turn in the area. Of oh, this. thank fuck. You can know. That is a crit fail for Zuka on the dot. I don't We're know if you wish to hear that. Point, yeah. Sure. You just have to manually manually uh, yeah. remove the hero point. Much better, still just barely a failure, unfortunately. Uh, cool. But Zuka becomes sickened by the stench. Philip, looking around in this pool now, you can see this like 30 foot long trough, four feet tall, about five feet wide, is filled with just writhing viscera. Eastern and western wings of this room. Tons of bones. Uh, but all of you can probably see that the one on the west is also sort of riddled with small tunnels and holes. Um, you're not exactly sure what the smoke monster Azrael was talking about it, is there is smoke roiling forth from this pit, and all of the viscera is moving. Do I see anything to shoot? 
I, do I see the smoke that he was talking about at all? Yeah, you're in it. You smell it. It smells bad. Okay. I'm in it, and then this this pit is wiggling. Yeah. It do be shoot. wiggling. <laughs> I'm going to shoot the pit. You're going to shoot the wiggling viscera in the pit? You know what? I'm not going to shoot the pit. I'm going to recall knowledge. Okay. About the pit? About the pit. Sure. The fuck is that? How would uh, do that? Let's see. Taking a brief look at this. One, you actually grab a couple things off of that roll, Philip. Uh, you yep. get the sense, seeing some of the runes engraved on the inside of the trough, that just at a... How, actually, I need to check... Uh, fully identifying it will take some time but there's definitely runes that this trough is used for something uh, from what you can gather though at least some of the viscera seems to have almost gained sentience in this trough uh, okay. whatever it is that call, caused Azrael to call up about there being a monster you could probably just shoot the viscera and be fine all right. And uh, if you want, like, a general picture of what I'm working with here. Oh, uh, no. Yeah. No, I don't. You can put that away now. And if you want a token, you can target right here. However, assume that it takes up every space within the trough. So as long as you are within, like, melee range of the trough, you're within melee range of it. Oh, that's why you wanted to stretch earlier. Yeah. Yeah. But if I stretch it, it just makes the whole thing big. <laughs> big circle. Yeah. If I, uh... It does that. <laughs> it do that if, if I stretch him. <laughs> His space is still only taking up legitimately those spaces. But the picture <laughs> struggles a little bit. A big boy. Big boy. <laughs> big boy. Okay. So anyway... <laughs> Um, That's what's in the pit. This is fucked. Uh, no, no it isn't. Why would you say that? That's rude. That's my turn, though, because of the yes, recent knowledge. Uh, Dry, you're up. You can't see shit. Nope. The one lady be right away. A... Oh, right. Dry can't see shit. <laughs> I'm just going to wander sure. 25 feet forward. Okay. You can see Do light. I... <laughs> I can Do see I more, can I? Is it there's smoke, black smoke everywhere? <laughs> you can, it's not thick smoke. It's not enough to actually make everyone um, concealed. It's simply just a very noxious smell in it. Huh. Do I have uh, enough of an action to shout out, shoot the goop? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I cry out, shoot the goop. I don't know that I can target the goop with the Divine Lance from here. You have to get closer, unfortunately. You gotta at least be within the smoke, aka within 10 feet. That's possible! Into it. I'm so. just gonna go here and okay. uh, recast okay. this again. Sure. And uh, that takes us to Requiem's turn. What do we want her to do here? Nuke it kill it instantly uh do we want her to use her last spell to summon undead not yet not yet okay so just move forward and either divine lance or needle darts it yeah yeah sure we'll have her move here she is going to have to make the uh, fortitude save she will fail uh, do we want her to hero point that or be sickened? Hero point that. This is her last hero point. Do it. And she'll still fail. God damn it. So she will become sickened one. Uh, but then she will go ahead and divine lance what's in the trough. Unfortunately. 
us to the trough's turn, or as we like to call it, the squirming swill. Don't want to call it that. I don't know if you guys can hear the disgusting sound that's getting made, but I can. No. No. I really wish these sound effects would work properly. I get this. I get this happy, upbeat, cheerful, like tavern music. It's Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a it's a slurping sound right there. Um, theoretically, Philip should be able to hear it. Can't Can hear shit. Though. All right, let me see if I can find it. Uh, let's see. Clock sound effects. There we go. Oh God! Still cannot hear it. I can hear it. Your volume might be a bit Oh, no, 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 no. Give it click your token. <laughs> yeah, make sure you're selected on your token. Gross. Yeah. Unselecting so makes it worse! Like. Uh-huh. So anyway, uh, it's going to go ahead and hit you with some awful Philip. It's just going to rise up a spleen and smack you across the face with it. You're into some weird stuff, Jericho. And miss. That's a damn shame. I grabbed the spleen. <laughs> you have an extra spleen. It is rotten and gross and still attached to, like, everything in the pool. Money! And it just yanks out of your hands back in. And is, Fuck. uh... Yeah, it's gonna spit some oil at you in return for that. Uh, ten points of fire damage to you, Philip. As oil hits you in the Cut. face for trying to take the spleen for yourself. Uh, Azrael, you're up. Oh, thank fuck. I have two health. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, sustain. Okay. Go ahead and increase the effect. I don't know how to do that. Uh, let me go ahead and do that for you. How much does it increase by? Oh, wait. Oh, I've got counter. You can uh, just click it like you're changing counters, actually. Uh, oh, that's super they handy. That work for that effect. That's very nice. I love that. So That's like the whole room now. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, it is still blocked by walls. So even though drag is technically within 25 feet of you, is not within the effect. I take a lovely little stride action. Sure. I am going to need My you eyes! To <laughs> <laughs> they work! A fortitude save from you, Azrael. As you can see now, Drag. But you will be fine, sick. Azrael. You are not sickened. Uh, command Zuka. Sure. Attack. Okay. If Zuka goes to any other side, it counts as flanking. And Zuko would have enough movement to go around. So uh, I'm just going to put off guard on him for you, because otherwise I won't count it. Let's go, Zuko! That is an exact <laughs> hit because of the bless and flank. Let's Zuka go! Hog. For three damage! Let's go! The hero! <laughs> <laughs> Best boy! <laughs> the people's champion! <laughs> All right, Philip, you're up. <clears throat> uh, you succeeded on your save, correct, Philip? I did. Okay, so you do not have to make it again. You are now in Excellent. Room. The Glock. Sure. Uh, if you move anywhere, I was going to say you'd get Bless, no. but it doesn't really matter. The Glock. You just better. You know, I've been buffing up this creature's hit points because I was like, oh you know, God. it's got some health. Like, this creature had like 25 health, and I was like, it's going to die in like one hit. Let's buff its health up. Put it up to 40, and I was like, mm, that feels a bit too high based off of the debuff. So let me drop it down to 30 again. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> the Glock! No longer a problem. What a waste of a Still you still have two actions <laughs> left, Philip. I mean, there's a wall of rats over there. Is there? Is there? Do Where? not see the rats devour the rat? No. Oh yeah, those 
brain things. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, the brain slugs, whatever the fuck. I'm gonna walk over here. Okay. Behind Zuka. Okay. I was gonna... I was gonna ask if it was smoked to see if it reacted before I murdered it, but then you just shot it in the face! The viscera has been quelled. <laughs> Be still, my quivering heart. <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> oh my fucking god! Right. Plus one potency room goes hard! It didn't even uh, take any fire damage because of its resistance to fire, but... I was gonna... I, uh, did it have a weakness to cold? No. Oh, that fuck. No, I'm just a resistance it. to fire. Okay. God. But, uh... <laughs> Gunslingers go <laughs> on crit, so <laughs> enemy health. The fuck is that? Um, can I thoughtful reload while thinking about those little little boys? I the little fucking things I saw earlier. Sure. Uh, are those things an issue? And how the fuck do we get rid of them? Let me give me a recall knowledge roll. Make sure you're oh, I'm still targeting anything. the targeting the the guy. Yeah. yeah, hold on. There we go. As as far as you're aware, you actually, thinking about it now, you recognize what those creatures were. Uh, Ostevites, a type of fiend. Uh, scavenger vermin typically found throughout the ab abyss. Uh, they just harvest flesh and bones. Uh, they dissolve and slurp up flesh for sustenance, and then craft the bones into shells they refer to as bone chariots. Um, there is very likely a nest of them here. And the uh, standard standard operating procedure is... And you could destroy it, like fully, fully destroy it. You could also, you know, at this point, you could search out where the nest is in that pile of bones and just, like, potentially topple it over with an athletics check. It's more of a hazard at this point than an actual creature, the nest. Okay. Uh, but shoot the pile getting bones. close, like you guys are... The guys inside are going to react. Great. I'll relay this information to the party. And that's uh that's my turn. Alright. But I hear up. Give me something else to one shot, please. Delay. Okay. Good call, it's the nest's turn then. Uh, and they are going to start, since there are now enough people close by, with a reaction, actually, uh, where a bunch of the Ostevites within are going to crawl all over the bone pile, spewing acid in all directions. Uh, I will need everyone except Drag to give me a reflex save, please. Fuck. <laughs> Knock that off. I'm here pointing that. Okay. Otherwise, I'm dead. Ooh, Azrael. Oh, Requiem's immune. Okay. Well, I thought smoke break, remember? <laughs> right. Well, it was a critical failure. No thanks. Oh! Philip just barely missed the crit, unfortunately. Uh, still a regular Look. failure for you. So, Azrael, that will be full Hang damage. On. Philip and Zuka will take half damage. How did Requiem get a crit at 24 uh, and I didn't? Because that was a bad 20. 20. <laughs> oh! Oh, I see that now. So I take half? Yep. Old I'm down. To you. Yikes. Uh, hold on. How, do, how does this work? Hmm. My shield block this. Uh, you can shield block the damage if you'd like. Would it reduce it by 5 for you? I'm going to shield block that and destroy okay. my shield. Uh, you did not have your shield up, I don't believe. Uh, you're right! I didn't- I had to move that turn. Yeah. Just kidding. So, uh, you do take the full damage, and because you failed your save, uh, Azrael, and because I'm so nice, you also take a mm -hmm. persistent acid damage. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Uh, and the nest will make its last action here to spew... A little guy will come out and spew acid at Requiem. Where is this coming from? Somewhere in here. Oh, over there. Yeah. 
uh, doing seven points of acid damage to her. I'd like to cast Fireball in that general direction. Uh, well, it is Requiem's turn. <laughs> Let me cast General Fuck You over there. <laughs> I mean, does she, uh... She probably moves over to prep to heal Philip, right? With her last action. Yeah. She can move over, she can cast Undeath's Blessing on him. So you'll get the blessing, uh, and then she'll go ahead and cast Shield on herself. Ezrael, you're up. That's a really cool spell. Um, hmm. I was delayed. Oh yes, did you want to pop back in? I'm so sorry. Yes. Then before Azrael's turn, don't take that damage yet, Azrael. Undo that. Uh, it is your turn, uh, Mike. I used Divine Lance, but I don't think I could target this a mass of bones. Uh, I'd allow it. Since you're not exactly oh. sure. You could use an action to seek out where the nest specifically is if you want to try and use the disable action to topple it. Otherwise, I'd say attacking anywhere within the bone pile would have the chance to deal damage to it. But as an FYI, probably because of the bones, you're going to need to do a hefty amount of damage to actually damage the nest itself. Let's do this instead. Sure. What kind of undead would you like? Uh... What was the one with the sword? The skeleton? The skeleton guard? Yeah. Sure. The guard did only have four hit points, by the way, and no resistance to acid. It's not a zombie. It's not any better. Zombie has 12 hit points. Zombie has 20 hit points, but only a 12 AC. 20. Oh. Yeah, but it's the skeleton at least has a 16 AC. All right. Uh, where do you want it? Within 30 feet of you? Um, How close can I get it? Probably need to there. Close enough to walk over. <laughs> and you get uh, two actions with it. Part of casting that spell. Walk. <laughs> Into the pile. Into the pile. Find nest. <laughs> uh, go ahead and make a perception check for him. Unless you want him just attacking randomly. Uh... With his plus two perception. I can find on his sheet where it is. Uh, on the right, next to his attribute modifiers, under senses. <laughs> uh, keep in mind, normally I should be blind. Yeah, I just clicked it wrong. Combat. Uh, that will not find it, unfortunately. I didn't think so. That will so far off not find it. Azrael, you're up. Uh, sustain. Okay. Uh, now you know you don't actually have to sustain it. Sustaining it just ups the dura or the length of it. Do I not have to? Nope. I mean, he's got to sustain Zuko. A minute, not sustained up to a minute. Oh. But you can sustain it if you want to increase the emanation. I sure don't. You keep your actions. Uh, hey, Philip, buddy, pal. It's so nice that you joined us in the realm of undeath, at least temporarily. For one do? minute. <laughs> Live. <laughs> Get one health back. <laughs> the fuck happened to me? It might uh, ah, have been skeleton. a net. Ah! <laughs> why am I clicking on the skeleton? <laughs> I don't know. Why are you clicking on the skeleton? And only I'm one alive. might not be a good thing for you, actually. <laughs> You're back. <laughs> So we gonna move, uh, perceive. Okay. Azuka and the skeleton garbage, like throwing bones from the pile everywhere. They're just digging. They're just digging. Yeah, oh, they're just was, digging. That was on the 19 on the die, but it moved off at the last moment. Oh. Azuka, unfortunately, cannot find it right now either. Uh, Philip, you're up. I like the sound of it. it. Sounds like they're digging through bones. I'm standing. First action stand. Okay. <laughs> Second. And third action. Is get the fuck out of dodge. Now it's time for the Looney Tunes uh, runaway. <laughs> yeah. Please don't. Now you get it. 
All right, well, uh, that'll bring us uh, back to the nest's turn. I have one hit point. <laughs> I'm not doing this again. The nest is going to acid spew on the guard right in front of him. Goodbye, skeleton. All right, we burned a crit. It was nice knowing good, you. Good shit, good shit, good shit. See ya. I'm just going to delete him. Uh, next, second, and last action is going to be against Zuka. Actually, sorry, it only gets the, the one action on its turn. Requiem's up. Uh, Requiem has... Does Requiem summon another undead? Requiem will seek as well to see if Requiem can find it. Oh, I also got an additional uh, two hit points because this was Undeath's oh, yes. Blessing. Yeah, uh, you do uh -huh. not get two from that, actually. Undeath's Blessing only gives you only two for hit harm. points for harm and heal spells that target the creature. My bad. Yeah. Thank you. But you're still at one. Uh, I mean, does Requiem want to summon, heal someone, or just keep looking and use as many actions as possible to try and find it? Uh, Requiem I... only has a plus four to her perception. What does a three action heal hit Philip or do you move too far? Uh, he too. should still be in range, but she already used one seek action. Oh. So she only has two actions left here. So. Do it on my turn. What would you uh, Probably just keep seeking. Just keep we need seeking. to. Hope for the best. Well, I, you can't hurt this thing, so we know where it is. I mean, you can attack it. It's probably just going to have high hardness. Mm. Oh my god, she rolled like well enough. Let's go! It is able to find it amidst the bone chips. Now the point Thank out god. action. Fucking <laughs> like that. So, when you guys are next Ew. to it, you may use two actions to disable a device, if you would like, and make an athletics check to try and topple it over and destroy it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, this is a uh, essentially hazard that is disabled via athletics. Uh, she has one action left then, so I guess she'll just cast shield on herself. <laughs> the classic spell. All right, Drag, you're up. Hmm. What does my vision look like? Unable to see the damn thing. Understood. There you are, yeah. Cast this? Okay. Gonna do some measuring. Cool. All the way back here. <laughs> no chances. <laughs> Fair enough. Anything with your last action? Uh, I don't think I have anything for that, unfortunately. Alright, Azrael, you're up. But you should be at one lower, technically. Uh, command, Zuka, bring it down! Make the athletics check. Uh, and I'll actually give you the button for it if you want. So it's two actions? It is a two-action attempt, yep. Ah! <sighs> Because no. Because Zuka is sickened, they fail. No. Can hero you said, that if you'd like. You said we oh. could break it with damage, though, right? You can. Hazards will almost always have a hardness value to them, which is just flat damage reduction. Zuka! That will be a success. Yeah! And more than enough to topple the nest. People, hero. Well done. <laughs> and with that, we're going to go ahead and take a quick break. Waiting for all the fucking oh demons God. to come out. So go ahead and stand up, stretch, grab some oh. water, and I'll see you all in a few minutes. All right, welcome back, everyone. So, with the enemies falling at your feet, what would you all like to do now? We don't have to kill all the little tiny things. No, they were part of the hazard. Okay, okay. so they're all dead now. You 
keep trying to die. I promise you, it is not intentional. Well, why not? Shockingly, I want to live just a little bit longer. Babe. Azrael, I think there were some more rooms this way. Uh, I think we also wanted to identify this thing, right? If you guys would like to take a look at the uh, swill, you absolutely can. The runes on the trough. Sure. Yeah. And if anyone wants to, can go ahead and give me a recall knowledge, taking about 10 minutes to do so. Philip, the master of knowledge, apparently. Goodness. A very big roll. brain. Uh, you oh, sorry. Sorry. I was say before we spend ten minutes in the uh, the buff runs out on Philip being counting as undead. Oh yeah. Do you want to heal? Yeah. Or arm. Good. Thirty three action. Sure. Uh, everyone needs healing here. <laughs> the pit gets back up. No. What in hell. <laughs> No. Uh, but, Philip, you would heal an additional two from this, though. I'm hitting the button three times, baby. <laughs> Let's go. I'm not gonna yeah. do that. That's an unfortunate roll. I feel like our three action harms have never rolled more than a three. No. Uh, Philip. You've What's actually up? seen similar magic to this before. Uh, in a lesser sense, Calvex has a mirror that acts very similarly uh, and is used on occasion for sort of scoping out the situation at farms without having to actually get there. Um, this viscera seems to function as a sort of crystal ball for scrying. And because of what you rolled, you are aware of a single command word for it. Rathun. Rathund? Yeah, something like that. Uh, I think this is a, an avenue for scrying. Not entirely sure how it works. Not the uh, most magically adept, but uh, there's a command phrase written on the side here. Uh, Rafund, I think. Not sure how it works or how to do it, but yeah. Simply say the word with intent, maybe? Unless it requires a uh, spellcaster to activate. Uh, for an object like this, you would at least need to be able. Uh, I believe. No, any of you could activate it with the command word, hmm. realistically. Uh, and Philip, That's you would be aware boss? of that. Oh. You rolled a nat 20, Philip. What's the spy on your boss? I'll be right back. Rafund. I want to. I want to see Calvax. The swill kind of shimmers and moves. Intestines wiggling about on the uh, floor of this trough, while looking like a bunch of worms and snakes crawling over one another. Uh, but eventually. The visual of it changes. You're no longer looking at a squirming mess of organs and awful, but instead of an overgrown, weed-filled yard. 
the visual shimmering, almost as if you're looking out of water. You can see a few tombstones and a relatively fresh corpse as well nearby. As well as the red brick wall, glass running down the sides. Uh, you seem to be staring at your yard. At, at my yard? The yard of the manor upstairs. Hmm. As far as you're aware, Philip, there are very likely, with something like this, command words and phrases would be keyed into specific sensors uh, for what you wanted to look at. So maybe so there are not... other sensors out there connected to this pool, but you wouldn't know their command phrases. Or potentially in the future, you could also end up setting up your own sensors and command phrases. Gotcha. But okay. it is not something that just allows you to look at whatever you wish willy-nilly. Okay. I will, uh... I'll pass that on to the team. So it's, uh, lets us look around at specific places, depending on the words we say. We can't look everywhere. But Rafund, as we can see, lets us see our yard. Interesting. guys would like it's a little after noon at this point i'd say if you wanted to spend like two hours or so just resting you guys could heal up to full without any issue um uh, wait till jacob comes back to make that decision sure yeah and what would the two of you like to do while you're down here all alone I'd like to take that spleen. No. <laughs> Just nudges Philip and he'd die. <laughs> I'm at four health, man. Exactly. Don't breathe on me. And so is Requiem. Requiem's the real one. Requiem's, Requiem's at, at five. Oh my now. god. Uh, Requiem's at five, Philip's at four, Azrael's at seven, and Drive's at eleven. I like how uh, Zook is five, at five as well. Four. Four for me is near death, and five for Requiem is badly injured. Yeah, just above a quarter. You Good. You have to be at a three, I think, for it to read near death. Good golly Jesus. Maybe even two. Yeah, that's why I keep shoving you up front. Yeah, I know I have the most hit points. You're tied for Azrael with the most hit points, at least. Hang on a fucking second. And uh, <laughs> you have the highest AC in the party by a long shot. Fuck. <laughs> Highest AC, yeah. Azrael has the same hit points as you, but only a 15 as opposed to an 18. Drag's got a 16, Requiem's got a 15, Zuka's got a 15, so you've got a 15% higher chance than just about everyone of not dying. Damn, I guess this is not what it's like being a... This is what yeah. it's like being a marshal in a world of spellcasters. Not, not, not gonna spec into, like, a sniper. You're probably spec into, like, you know... Gun foo or some shit. <laughs> yeah, some 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 tank bullshit. Honestly, it'd be so much inter more interesting to see a gun foo lich. Just a fucking. <laughs> kind of sounds funny as hell. Especially when he's deadpanning you with that fucking face that your token has the entire time. Yeah, the the fucking lich just goes. 
He's sitting here doing fucking uh, gun uh, kick spins and shit, and he's got that fucking face. Is that an actual the, thing? Uh, you probably wouldn't use a rifle for it, but Bullet Dancer is an archetype. Oh. Uh, which My is great. a bunch of uh, feints and ricocheting gunplay. Great googly moogly. It's like, I don't know if there's an equivalent Pathfinder in 5th that would have been Kensei Monk. Yeah. Kensei Monk's fun. Especially when you use guns. Yeah. Gun Fu. I never, uh, I never played a Kensei Monk with guns, but that sounds amazing. You can also yeah. pick up Unexpected Sharpshooter as an archetype. Which is exactly that. You uh, come across as very clumsy, but somehow always hit your target. Are you trying to get him to be a way the drunken master gunslinger? Maybe. They have a 10th level feat, quite literally called I meant to do that. That's funny as shit. I need you to kill Calvax with that. No, Calvax, I'm just going to walk up to him and shoot him in the head. There's going to be no ceremony. The uh, unexpected sharpshooter dedication just gives you a once per day two action attack that you get to roll both the attack and damage twice and use the better results. It also ignores any circumstance penalties to the attack roll and any flat check due to them being concealed or hidden. Mm -hmm. It's actually a pretty funny uh, archetype. You could also, if you wanted to focus on like sniping, there's a sniping duo where you set someone else in the party as your uh, your spotter. And you typically get buffs as long as the two of you can see the same person you're targeting. Not against oh. that. You want to be a firework technician? I know nothing about. I need to. I need to look into more what gunslinger can do. Uh, there's also demolitionists, artillerist. Oh. If you want the big stuff. Uh, while we're off topic, I guess we're waiting on Jacob. Yeah, I guess we're waiting on. We took a break. Come on, man. I know. At least when I was, was like busy, I was like here. You might have had something come up. I don't trust him. I mean, that's the best way to treat Jacob. I can't believe you trust you trust me more than you trust him. I never said that. Oh, okay. Let's be quite clear. I hear. Oh, welcome Good. back. He's a lot. We were waiting <laughs> on you. I'm sorry. There's a decision to make. Would you like to soldier forward or take about two hours to rest and just get everyone to full hit points? I would like to treat wounds. Okay. <laughs> well, you can either roll treat wounds or we can say you guys just take about two hours and heal everyone to full that one okay welcome to 2 p.m everyone you're all at full hit points <laughs> oh my god hot dog how did that happen <laughs> boom uh, you are no longer wounded either philip so many successful treat Fuck. wounds All right, so there were some rooms we didn't go to. Yeah, I popped my head in all of these. Well, I guess we don't know what's in this room here. No, you guys uh -huh. have not had the opportunity. We haven't. We haven't opened it. Yet. Despite my my whoopsie. All right, light source. Let's go. I swear to God, if he's gone again, I'm gonna kill him. Wow. <laughs> He's already dead. What more do you want? Don't forget to heal yourselves up, people. It's a I zero did. responsibility if you're still not at full hit points. Going to 50 hit points. Uh, that is above full hit points. Too late. Uh, welcome to the coffin room. There's four of them, but one of them is closed. Dun dun dun! Dun dun dun! <laughs> Zuka opens it, please. Is Zuka just sitting on top of it right now? Yes. Okay. Give me a perception like check for Zuka. Pointing a mm. gun at it. Zuka can hear something from within. Rattle, like rattle tail. 
Uh, it was that a good rattle or a bad rattle? As well, Azrael. It sounds like faint, very frantic scratching sounds from within the coffin. Huh. Something's trying to get out. Am I going to have to open this? So Cook could probably open it. You can open it from there. Hmm? Old athletics. I would like to know how Zuka is pushing the lid off a massive coffin. Clearly, he's uh, coiling. Uh, oh, go ahead. He's grab with teeth and just pull. I was going to say coil up between the, the, the wall and the, the coffin like a spring and just kind of push. <laughs> I'll allow an attempt, but. Snake spring. Zuka's made a bow. <laughs> Snake spring. Do you see how small those teeth are? Yeah, Zuka's not gonna succeed at that. So I guess teeth I'm. Chip, but. No. Zuka does not have the leverage with which to open a coffin. I'm going to. knock twice on the top of the coffin and see if the scratching changes. It gets faster. More frantic. Is it like aggressive faster or is it just like I'm trapped in a box and I'm Does it sound like claws or hands? It's just a faint scratching sound. Like, uh, very much like claws on stone. Ah! Uh, smoke! Did it change? Doesn't sound like it. All right. I don't think it's the dog. Go plus one. I do worse than the snake. You know what's funny? There isn't an athletics check required to open this realistically. You guys just went for it. Uh, but I still feel like a three fails. <laughs> like oh, Phillip, well. Philip like sprains his wrist doing that. <laughs> I'm like, all right, let me let me. <laughs> My entire arm comes off. You are the one with muscle. How are you failing here? I don't know. Just gonna like grab both ends of it and just slide it, just like, yeah, not like wide enough for like a whole thing to come out, but just like an arm okay. to stick out. I've got the gun. Oh god, that's like a face auger! Roll initiative, please. I fucking knew it. I, I slam it shut. I fucking knew it. Rib cage. I Fucking knew it. Out I, out fucking I knew want it. one. I <laughs> slam it fucking shut. Fucking knew it. I want to slam it shut. Uh, if you go before it, you might be able to. I don't want to be here. That's not going to happen. What? Can we keep it? Oh, that's not the right button. Oop. Well, I can set that up. Don't worry. Oh, you already did. Perfect. Right. You already did. <laughs> well, no, because it looks like you rolled again and got a 25. I did. It's okay, the rib cage gets to go first. Uh, yeah, it's going to make a... Uh, no, it doesn't actually need to make a skittering Ooh. rush. It can just move here. And make a jagged ribs strike against you, Drag. A touch. And miss. What a fucking loser. And try again. And miss again. Bad touch! I'm so gaming. As Jared, bad touch, gaming. Bad touch. You notice it like trying to claw around your leg and just not getting any grip. Uh, Azrael, you're up. Uh, Zuka, attack. There's just... Lots of rattling bones going on in this room right now, and I don't know how to feel about it. No, Zuka. Zuka fails. Consistency. That'll be a hit. And that'll deal a small amount of damage. Uh, uh -huh. Not for the fact that this thing is immune to spirit damage. There's <gasps> no soul in it. 
No. Sorry. It's just a pile of bones. It's just a scrabbling rib cage. Drag, are you the one who wanted this Philip, you're thing up. as a pet? No, that was Philip, or that was Azrael. Perfect. Energy shot. I am going to uh, give this lesser cover because it's about the same size as Zuka. So being in that position, Zuka is a bit in the way. Energy shot acid. Is it at least off guard because of Dreg? Uh, it won't be off guard to you. It would be off guard to Dreg and Zuka since they're flanking. Yeah, that's but fair. You don't uh, get uh, off guard from that. Can I get here? Yeah. Okay, just, like, cool. Stand no in the coffin. Covered. Yeah, I'll put a foot in the coffin. Uh, like lift yourself up to shoot over Zuka. <laughs> she puts one yeah. one foot up on the the lip. <laughs> that just barely hits. All right. Ten damage. Uh, it does not seem to take nearly as much. You s notice it seems to resist piercing damage, but also just have general hardness to it that reduces damage. Uh, so um, and then thoughtful reload. Sure. Uh, just uh, resistances and weaknesses, I guess. That's the wrong button. As far as you can tell, unfortunately, in this moment in time, you're a bit too thrown off by what this is. All right. Requiem, you're up. Does she have a melee weapon? Oh, sorry. Um, Requiem? I, yeah. Uh, she's got her fangs. She also has needle darts and divine lance. And she can summon on... It doesn't have actually, the spirit. Uh, at this point, should she just use her last summon undead? Because she yeah. can give herself flanking with it to get some hits. Or cast her summon undead. Yeah. And actually, instead of using it from her uh, spell slots, she'll use her relic gift to cast summon undead. So she'll actually get that spell slot back. Summons undead and maybe point here. Uh. Probably the Shambler, actually, because it deals bludgeoning damage. And this thing is bones. Uh, so the zombie will go ahead and make a fist attack. That's a shame. Ow. Uh, yeah, definitely weak to bludgeoning damage. Uh, and then we'll attempt to grapple it. And fail miserably, falling on its ass. Fantastic. Drag, you're up. Cool. What is it to switch uh, grips on something? Uh, it depends. Are you going to a two-handed grip from a one-handed grip? Are you yes. releasing it? It's an action. One action, yeah, to put your second hand on. Okay. But then free action to release a hand from it. Are you smacking this thing with your staff? I might be. Nice. That'll just barely hit because of the flank. Good damage. Can I hit it with the staff? Yeah. And we're going to do this cool thing. It's called spin move. <laughs> Hiya! <laughs> no! That will just barely miss. I'm so sorry. I missed my spin move. Damn. <laughs> Unless you want to hero point that. I got two love sessions wanted now. Sure. <laughs> Think of how cool it'll be. It'll be so cool. Spin move. Ooh. Motherfucker. <laughs> Classic hero points. Reduces yep. your roll by one. <laughs> You've got one action left if you want to try again. No, I don't. Oh, oh, right, because you have to switch grip. Uh, it's the ribcage's turn. Uh, 
it's going to... Yeah, it's just going to continue attacking you, Drag. Why not? I am not delicious! It successfully hits for three damage. Ow. Uh, and then it's going to attempt to grapple you. Ah. It's holding on to your leg for dear life. And it's going to begin squishing you. Uh, please give me a fortitude save as it constricts you. I like... You will take half damage here. Uh, so you'll take three bludgeoning damage as it sort of starts... Now that it's got a solid grip on your, like, calf bone, it begins crushing it between its ribs. Uh, Azrael, you're up. Attack. <laughs> Pause off. Azuka hits. Zuka deals uh, a tiny amount of damage to it. Hmm. All right. Zuka want to do anything with its second action? That will not hit, unfortunately. <laughs> Alright, Philip. Bring it home. Uh first action conjure bullet. Okay. Second I action. Did a thoughtful reload at the end of last turn. I did! First reloaded. action the Glock. That'll hit. Second action thoughtful Again. reload. Again? Alright. Did you mean conjure bullet or thoughtful reload? Conjure bullet. Gotcha. God damn it. <laughs> That'll hit as well. Can you roll below a five on your damage? No. Roll, please. Goodness gracious! Using your last energy bullet to melt the rib cage into nothingness. I'm gonna kick it against the wall. Get off. <laughs> Scatters. Are you okay, Drag? My leg hurts. Yeah, I can imagine. I am not delicious. I promise. Are you sure? I will take your word for it. I I have no intention of um attempting to consume you. Uh, Azrael and Drag, while you're over here, you can see something else in the uh, coffin. What appears to be a a small quartz figurine of a jackal. Oh, well, I never learned touch. <laughs> you touch it. Pick up. Pick, you pick it up. Hot dog. This is mine now. It's in your stash. You might see a few small runes carved into its feet. There. If you would like to spend a few minutes trying to identify it, you can. Sure. Uh, what's that rolling for? Uh, just use your recall knowledge macro. Taking a look at this, yeah, you're fairly certain you know what this is. Uh, this is a wondrous figurine of an onyx dog. And some of the runes that are carved into its underbelly that aren't magical read out the word smoke. Oh! I found the dog! Why his dog was... Actual dog. Why his dog was guarded by a ribcage, I should never know! I don't think we'll ever know. I mean, wouldn't you want the best protection for your best friend? I don't know, the flush pit was pretty good. 
don't think he he intended for the flesh pit. I'm gonna be honest with you. He might have. Maybe he did. I want out of this basement. Yeah, I want to go take a fucking nap. What time is it around? Uh, about 2.40 in the afternoon. God about, ba damn. about basement o'clock. Me when, me when the time is basement. <laughs> me when basement. Ugh. Empty. Uh, I will strike a torch for drag. Okay. I will hand I will hand drag a torch. I'm going the fuck upstairs though. Okay. Just bumps into all the walls on the way out. <laughs> Just staggering. I gave you a torch. Drag did not notice. God damn it, Drag. <laughs> upstairs. Israel, what are you doing? Being Jacob and not being here. Well, going upstairs as well. Yep. Making sure nothing's gonna come back up after we kill it. Sure. I can. Like, ah, they've all left. You just want to move it's up. Just... Yeah. You know you can use arrow keys. Yeah. Cheating. That is cheating. walls in the way. That's cheating. Oh, that moved you. Oops. I'll bring Azrael up. Uh... I like that when I appear, the whole map goes purple. As it should. How was it? Did you enjoy your time down there? And do not speak to the hand. Yes. <laughs> Did you see my painting? Or the painting of me? Is that what that was? In the torture room, the big oil painting. That's me. Arg in the Annihilator, baby. Best damn general there ever was. For a few decades, at least. Very impressive. Yeah, I knew you'd appreciate it. Is he telling the truth? Uh, give me a... Let's go check. Wow. Okay, then. <laughs> Is that actually him? Argon's lying through his fingers. Oh. You have to tell us some, uh, some of your war stories sometime. Oh, absolutely. Let me know whenever you're up for it. I got plenty for you. I'm gonna make that shit up on the spot. There's someone in my room. Why is there someone <laughs> in my room? They won't be forever. Ezra just <laughs> accepts that Drag's taken the master bed. Philip did. I don't have the spells list to deal with this right now. <laughs> Yeah, just one of Look, the rest it, of the day away. It was the most direct route to a bed. Drake went straight. <laughs> and still bumped into almost every wall. <laughs> oh, come on, we can see up here. You can't. You're blind. I can see up here. Can There's you? light. Is there? There is. How do you know? Because I said so. What are you, some kind of dungeon master? Uh, maybe. Some kind of omnipotent god. Last I checked. I forget how these things work in Pathfinder for Dog. Oh, for the uh, Wondrous Figuring? Well, it's in the party stash if you want to check it out. That's uh, a two action activate makes a guard dog for uh, like 10 minutes, I think. So if I remembered how to get to the party stash. For up to six <laughs> hours. Uh, if you go into the Actors tab in Foundry. 
and then in the party folder you look at the button at the top that hovers open sheet and it looks like a piece of paper with the corner folded. Oh, and this is a neat little button. Yeah, gives you an overview on the party, their skills, their main abilities, you can specify what your exploration actions are, and the stash is your guys' overall group inventory. And it's where I'll put a lot of treasure unless you guys specifically take it yourselves. So, got uh, a few alchemical items that have not yet been identified. Got that plus one meat cleaver, full plate, smoke the onyx dog, the walking cauldron. Got quite a lot on you. anything in particular you guys would like to do, or would you just like to go to sleep? Well, this is a once per week dog. Okay. So yeah, for six hours. Not, not gonna just summon dog then. <laughs> I mean, you can. A guard dog is a level negative one creature. And it looks adorable with the art I have for it. Oh my god. He's, he's oh, adorable. He's the he's baby. boy. <laughs> that's, that's baby right there. He's getting summoned later. Drag is not that depressed. <laughs> well, uh, smoke is in the party summons folder now. When you guys want to use it. Get yourselves a level negative one guard dog. I think get ourselves a, a level baby guard dog. What up? He's baby, Jericho. It's a dog. Look at him! You gonna tell me he's not baby? Uh, yes. I love him. <laughs> the most delayed reaction. So Jacob is on like a five minute delay. I am Don't work not there. awake right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> well, if you guys... Are you, Jacob? Uh, like ten. Oh, okay. I see me and you are not doing Warhammer after this. That was the original plan. That's not going to happen right now. <laughs> Just go and jest to Dr. Pepper. It's fine. It'll fix it. I might. Dr. Peppers don't have... Caffeine? They don't have Warhammer yeah. in them. What are you talking do... about? Wait, do Dr. Peppers have caffeine? They do. Yes. Explicitly. Sir. I knew that. You're thinking of root beer. <laughs> it's, the other, it's the other brand they own that doesn't have caffeine. <laughs> Well, uh, I'll leave it up to you guys if you would like to rest and continue on for another 15 minutes or so, or if you would like to take a long rest and end the session slightly early here. You guys have finished your first day of exploration, cleared out the manor of most every monster as far as you're aware. Uh, I don't know where anything else would be hiding, so... I mean, a uh, suspiciously empty space here. Well, I mean, I know, but like in part of architecture, in character, <laughs> right. I don't know where anything you, else you would said be that's hiding. Just the, you said it's dead space. There's nothing there. Yeah. Uh, so, it, I mean, realistically, are you guys planning on actually like cleaning up your manor? Yes. Absolutely. We can assume most hidden doors would then be found in the following days as you guys are spending time cleaning, if you would like. Since it's not like they're super hidden. I'll do that. Okay. okay. Then go ahead and take your long rest, and I will point out where they are to you all as you're spending the next few days making your manor clean again. Getting rid of all of the uh, gross <clears throat> and disgust in the old cobwebs. Uh, cleaning up the kitchen and the pantry and the basement. My god, it looks nice now. I know. Why does Zuka have his own bed? <laughs> because why the f*** not? <laughs> I'm why just curious. She, deserve, she deserves it. <laughs> She's the people's hero. I... <laughs> You're so right, and I'm so sorry for doubting the, the people's hero. <laughs> How could you question and drag during this time. You also, everyone can heal up to full if they're not at full after long resting, because you would definitely be able to do that. Uh, you do notice what appears to be a 
hidden door, about half the height of a normal person, uh, just outlined in the wall, and a small button that's actually hidden in this door frame mm. for it. You know what? Jericho convinced me. Summon dog. <laughs> <laughs> or bringing out the doll, the boy. Summon dog. There is the boy. boy. <laughs> Summon oh, good boy. Here. Hello, smoke. I, oh, you know what's really he's funny? Good. I've had many campaigns. This is like my fourth campaign where the party's gotten an Onyx dog at level one. Um, and this is like the first party that's actually summoned it quickly. <laughs> Most of the time it oh. just sits in the party's inventory all the way up to level 20. Well, it only lasts like six hours. It's yeah. like, and then you can't use it for a week. So that's you fine. can still summon dog. It's okay, I'm going to open the door. Hey guys, I'm making a bad decision. Push button. <laughs> Before I come else, running I at that, I come chunk. running at that. I'm the fucking sprinting. Wall slides open. Steps in. You nope. find yourself looking into a room with a small stone altar, lead basin sitting atop it, and a metal pail on the floor nearby. Okay. Like a filter in, I assume this is when he comes sl slamming into the room. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Filter, like, or sorry, Philip, not filter, comes in and just, like, stops himself half a foot before running right into the uh, candelabra and then turns around to see the open doorway in the wall. Uh, looking into pale. In the pale, uh, many bloodstained teeth. However, uh, you do see some shiny metal within. Body, maybe? Uh, pulling them out, they appear to be vampire fangs made out of platinum. Well, A pair of them, to be specific. I would have to ask the vampire. <laughs> and uh, probably worth a pretty penny. Each of them worth a, about a platinum piece. The range. Uh, inspecting the altar. Yeah. Uh, the altar itself is relatively unadorned. Uh, however, the basin contains a folded piece of paper uh, that has a wax seal on it. Uh, and a there's a small iron key ring with what looks to be four small keys on them. Mm-hmm. Uh, and next to that, give me a perception check, actually. I'll also do this to see if I hear Philip's lumbering <laughs> as he true. enters the room. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, absolutely, you hear Philip. Uh, and you also find, almost hidden underneath the uh, basin a little bit, a sketch of uh, some bones protruding from a stone wall. One of them appears to be a skull with a tiny skeletal hand coming out of it. Philip. Yeah? I found things. I'll walk into the room. Hands envelope as it, like, pushes into his chest as he enters the room. <laughs> the envelope? You hand the envelope to me? Yeah, the, the key ring. All right, I'll, I'll look at the envelope. Anything sure. notable on it? Uh, it just has a wax seal on it. It's not a Do seal I... you recognize. Okay. Going back to inspecting the drawing, trying to figure out what it means. I'll crack it. I'll crack the envelope. Sure. Uh, there's just a line in common inside of it. I read my home to my most loyal companion, Smoke, who I buried in the crypt. I'm Kalak. Signed Kalak, I should say. Is this Will? <laughs> Looks like it. Um... All now, right, granted, I'd say both of you are pretty well aware right off the bat, uh, bequeathing your home to a, a magic item is not going to hold up in court here in Geb. No, no, it's not. But also burn it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> not allowed to exist. Got it. 
Uh, no. That, that's, that's Philip's problem. I am inspecting the drawing. I burn. Trying to figure out what it means. Go ahead and make a recall knowledge check. As Philip starts burning the letter. There's a torch right there that this is somehow house is lit. yours now, and you cannot let the government take that away. Fight the government. Uh, I'm looking for recall knowledge, and it, it, it's... It moved. Please. Why did it move? The government can try. Can try. Oh, because I'm rolling for... Smoke, do you recall any knowledge? <laughs> Smoke rolled a I've natural 19. The, I've got the Second Amendment protecting this house. Smoke recognizes the drawing much better than you do. Apparently. <laughs> Smoke will, uh, woof, seeing that, and will start trotting towards the basement. Quick, follow the dog! <laughs> Following the dog. Follow the dog! Yelling at Jacob. <laughs> Azrael. Yep. Back down the stairs. I'll move uh, Zuka right to the stairs for you. He's on the hunt. Oh, did it teleport? Oh, because everyone was controlling the dog, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is no one moving their tokens? Oh. It's because you all oh, moved cause... downstairs. It's because you're all the dog it's owners. I it's love how you know when Azrael enters the map. <laughs> I'm the dog now. What dog the dog there. doing? I oh, wish man. to be free. <laughs> Would you like me to? Oh no! Oh no! Who did it? <laughs> who did it? <laughs> Where'd the dog go? <laughs> Actually, I, I don't know. I can't slide the dog on this floor. Uh, but what? Who took the dog upstairs and broke dog. everything? Dog acquired. <laughs> dog acquired. <laughs> Nobody touched the dog. Some, somebody it. moved the dog, and I don't know who did it. <laughs> the dog is rushing off. Uh, well, Follow him. The keys uh, go to the cells down here. You guys will be able to figure that out over the next couple days. All right. The dog will start sniffing uh, where the bone pile was and at the wall, where you can see a small skull with an arm reaching out of it. Much moment. more obvious now that the bones have been sort of cleaned up and cleared away in the last couple days. Give the dog good scritches. It's the goodest boy. It's a good fucking boy. See, everyone else, they slept on the dog. The dog rolled natural 19 recall knowledge. Yeah, the dog, <laughs> when you rolled a natural 3. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> oh. uh, it appears the arm coming out of the skull is a lever of some sort. Pull. There's no light. Ezreal! <laughs> Welcome to the Hallway of Doom. Charge! Uh, a massive hallway where the walls and ceilings are made of intertwining skulls and bones with thousands of worn-down teeth studding the floor. Perception. As you pass the areas where the cells are, you can see peepholes into each of the oh. cells. If we were to go back and check the cells later, is it a one-way people? Uh, probably not just very difficult to find, because remember, the walls where the peoples are are covered in skulls. Mm -hmm. You're like looking out of one of the skull's eyes? Pretty much. Anything at the in, end here? In your cell, and you just look at the wall, and suddenly one of the skulls has eyes. Uh, there's another door at the end. It oh. lists it as a secret door, but it's just a regular door there. Smoke. Coming into this next room, uh, the walls Hello. are continuously covered in uh, skulls and bones. The floor it's is him. smooth. An altar at the end piled high with skulls, many of which still have like bits of flesh sort of clinging to them. Um, and a robed corpse is on the floor at the base of the altar. I cleaned up the manor so it's not showing it, but there is a corpse there. Uh, give me half a moment, actually. Um, if you used uh, Clock Mana Cleanup, Apply, Execute Macro, Original. Ta da! Corpse! And Bones! Uh, Hot Dog! <laughs> this is what it right. actually looks like when you guys have not cleaned it up yet. Um, the skull of the robed figure on the floor seems to have burst open and fragments of bone 
litter the floor around it. Uh, currently sort of maneuvering and uh, making sure the pile of skulls does not fall is a small creature wearing a skull. It looks oh, at all. This is something uh, in... I was out of character, I'm sorry. What Fuck, I'm off that art. Uh, Philip, it actually hisses something in a language you recognize. Faye. You hear, Oh, more skulls for the collection. Oh no, it's a corn worshipper. And that's no. where we're going to end the session for today. Oh, Son no. of a fuck. <laughs> it's a corn worshipper! Thank you guys so much for showing up. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, and next session, you guys will have a fight with a skull fairy, it looks like. Oh, like, there's so... Yeah. bullet in that thing. The culprit behind killing the one living member of my other Blood Lords game. <laughs> We're hoping for a repeat, boys. The fuck uh, we are! Goodbye, Philip. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for showing up. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all next week. Have a good one. <laughs>